What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be a great one. It's about a prostitute down in Tijuana, Mexico that tried to extort money out of one of our subscribers, okay? She got mad. She got pissed off. She threatened to tell his parents. She threatened to expose him online. He hit me up on email over the weekend. He was super nervous. He didn't know what to do. I'm going to tell you guys what happened how to avoid this situation, and how to deal with this situation. It's a great story. Before I get into that story, if you're new here, smash that red like and subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. You're going to love my channel. All right, guys, now check this out. Also, premiering on Saturday, it's very important. I have a great interview that I did with a street hooker in Bogota, Colombia. I did this interview last week. I just got it uploaded, and I'm going to be premiering it Saturday. So on Saturday around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, go ahead and watch that video. I got a lot of high hopes for it. I think it's going to be good with YouTube. I got it cleared, okay? So I'm really hoping it does well. Give me a thumbs up and a like on this video. And then on Saturday, watch that other video, that interview with that hooker. It's going to give you great insight to what these girls live through, go through, and how about how their lifestyle is, okay? Give me a thumbs up on that video too. All right, guys, let's jump right back into the extortion video. All right, without being specific, I am going to tell you that this happened at one of the big three clubs or the big four clubs, okay? Let me tell you guys exactly what happened. This guy goes in there. He hits it off with a chick. He trades Facebook with her. He trades WhatsApp with her. And they make an agreement to go out the following day away from the club, okay? So he's been watching some of my videos and he's talking to her. He's throwing this game out. They're connecting and they make an agreement to go out outside of the club the following day. Okay. Well, the following day, she does not go to work. She stays back waiting for his phone call. And what does this clown do? He goes back to the bar, decides to spend time with another chick there and stands that other girl up. Of course, she got mad as hell and the situation went downhill from there. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. First and foremost, when he emailed me and he needed some help, I told him, I said, well, first of all, bro, it was a bitch move on your part. And I'm not saying that to be personal, guys. I don't care if it's a doctor's appointment, a real estate agent, or a date with a girl. You shouldn't stand people up, right? Especially people that work on commission or you're messing with their money here, okay? You should not stand people up. You need to do what you say you're going to do. I mean, think about it, guys. How many times has a girl agreed to go out with one of us and then later she stood us up or she didn't come through? It kind of sucks to be on the other end of that. So first of all, I had to slap him a little bit and I said, hey, man, you're my boy. I'm going to help you out. But it was a bitch move on your part. Live and learn. Don't do it again. All right. So when he stands this girl up because he spent time at the same bar with another girl, which breaks a second rule that I talk about. Guys, I've said this a million times. Don't shit where you sleep. If you're getting free action, you're getting free play from a girl, one strip club, or you're taking her out outside of the bar, do not hook up with another girl or spend time with another girl from that bar. That's 101. If you're going to go out with a girl free from Tropical, go get your girl from Adelitas. Okay? Don't do it at the same bar. Let's jump right into it. Long story short, she hits him up on WhatsApp or on Facebook, and she said, you owe me $500. I did not go to work. That's my lost income. If you do not pay me this money, I'm going to get on Facebook. I'm going to go check the hotel records. She alluded to the fact that she could check the hotel records, find out his name, Google his phone number, and that is true, guys. You can Google a phone number and find out damn near anything this day and age, okay? You can put a name in Facebook. You can find out almost anything, all right? Especially with some of the other sites like Spokio and things like that. So, she's threatening to tell his parents. She's threatened to expose him online. I don't know if this guy lives at home. I don't know if he's married. I don't know what his personal situation is, but I know she damn sure got his attention because he was emailing me all worried and didn't know what to do. All right, guys, first of all, when this happens... Rule number one, cease all communication with that chick. 100%. Do not respond and block her everywhere. Block her on WhatsApp, block her on social media. Immediately cease communication and block her everywhere. Don't negotiate, don't pay. 
Because if you ever do, it will never, ever stop. Let me say something else about this situation. She's totally pulling a bitch move too, demanding $500. Those girls do not average $500 a day. They'd be lucky to average probably $200, $300 a day, okay? After they pay their door fees, their room fees, negotiate, things like that. Did they meet their drink feature quota for the day? All right, they're not clearing 500 a day. She's taking advantage. So just as he was wrong, for standing her up and pulling the move he pulled, she's being out of hand too. But guys, I'm telling you right now, always have in the back of your head that one of these girls could pull a move like that. They're not the Girl Scouts. Don't take any pictures that could ever be used to blackmail you. Just don't do it, guys. Always have in the back of your mind a story. You know, something I would have said, you know, I would have said, yeah, hey, you know, I met this girl online. I didn't even know she lived, she worked down there until I went to the place and she actually told me and I was kind of shocked. I got upset and I left and then she was mad and then she demanded money. Something like that, okay? But guys, it's better that you don't even find yourself in that situation. Let me tell you something else, guys. When you're down there in Mexico, you need to understand these girls are crazy. She liked this guy. 100% she liked him. If she didn't like him, one, she would have never agreed to go out with this guy outside the bar for free. Never, okay? Number two, if he would have stood her up, okay, and she did not like him, she probably would not have cared. She just would have went into the bar late or blocked him, never called him again. But the fact that she was going completely crazy over the situation and threatening him with Facebook, threatening him with his family, threatening him with his job. Guys, that stands to reason that she liked him. And the one thing you don't want is one of these crazy psycho girls who actually likes you being pissed off, okay? Because that's what happened here. So, guys, just to recap, we do not ever pay these girls at all, all right? And we don't stand them up because that's not right, okay? And we don't shit where we sleep. Don't disrespect her by hooking up with another girl at the same bar. I've been over these rules before, okay? So watch the videos, ask me any questions you got, but trust me, guys, you don't want to do this. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Luke. I do videos about Tijuana, Mexico, specifically the Red Light District in Tijuana, Mexico. I also do videos about the Red Light District in Bogota, Colombia, also known as the Santa Fe. Guys, please remember, like and subscribe to the channel. I also have a great video coming out on Saturday. I've told you guys this before. It's a live interview with a street prostitute um, from Venezuela, and she's actually in Bogota, Colombia working. She's fled the situation in Venezuela. I think it's gonna be a great informative interview where we can all learn something. Watch it, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit me up if you got any questions. Until next time, that's 8 minutes and 24 seconds. No mistakes, rolling, no editing. We'll see you down the road.